Hello everyone, in this video we will solve our next problem that is sin sin XOR. So here in this problem we will be given an array. So what we have to do is we have to find the values obtained by XORing the contiguous subarrays followed by XORing the values thus obtained. That is uh, let's say we have given an array uh, with elements 3, 4, 5. So what will be the contiguous subarrays obtained from this given array? They will be like 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5 but not 3, 5 because uh, it is not a contiguous subarray because 3 and 5 are not in continuous manner so after obtaining these subarrays we have to XOR them and at last we have to XOR the results that we have obtained from XORing these subarrays so let's see the logic for solving this problem so the solution of this problem is based on an observation after taking various examples. So let's see what happens if the number of elements of the array are even. For example, we have an array with elements 1, 2, 3, 4, that is with 4 elements. So the first step is to generate all the contiguous subarrays. So here we have done that. We have taken all the contiguous subarrays of the given array. And the next step is to XOR all the subarrays. So we have done that here and at last we have to XOR the results. So we have XOR all the results. So as we know XOR is associative so the sequence of XORing these elements, these individual elements will not matter. So here we have XOR all the elements and another property of XOR is if we XOR the same elements then the result will be zero. So, if the presence of any element is even, that is, uh, let's say 5 is coming twice, that is, uh, it has even number of presence, then uh, by this property, the result will be 0. Similarly, if the uh, count of 5 is, let's say, 4, then also the result will be 0. Uh, similarly, if the count of 5 is 6, then also the result will be zero so from this we can conclude that if the presence of any element is even number of times then the their uh, resultant will be zero so let's see the count of one it is one two three and four so, so the count of one here is four that is even so the resultant of exoring four ones will be zero so we can neglect one from this similarly we see the count of two let's see one two three four five and six so here also the count of two is even uh, so the resultant of exhorting all twos will be neglected as it will be 0 so now let's see the count of 3 here it is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so here also the count of 3 is even so we will neglect 3 And at last we have 4. Let's see the count of 4. As you can see the count of 4 is 4 that is even. So uh, the result of XORing all these 4 will be 0. So as the occurrence of each element is even so the result will be 0. So from here you can uh, I hope you got the trick that if the number of elements in the given array will be even then the resultant will be 0. Now let's see what happens if the number of elements are odd. So if the number of elements are odd, then what will happen is, so for example, let's say we have an array with elements 1, 2, 3, that is with uh, odd number of elements. So we will generate all the contiguous subarrays first. Uh, we have done that here. And then followed by XORing all the subarrays. And at last we have to XOR the results. Uh, as I already mentioned that the XOR is associative in nature. 
so so the sequencing of exoring these elements will not matter so here let's see the count of one so here we have one two three three ones so here we have three ones so the resultant of exoring three ones will be one as the uh, this will result to zero and zero xor one is one so one thing we got is one now we will eliminate ones from this now let's see the count of twos uh, we have one two three and four twos so we have four twos so the resultant will be zero so we can simply neglect two now at last we have three threes so the resultant of these two threes will be zero and zero x or three is three so we will add this three in our last step so the result we got at last is one x or three that is uh, the elements present at odd positions so the trick for odd number of elements is as simple as exoring the elements present at odd positions so in this case the elements pre present at odd positions are 1 and 3 so the result will be 1 exor 3 and if the uh, indexing is 0 based then we will exor the elements present at even uh, indexes so let's see the code for this uh, problem so as we are dealing with zero based indexing so we will check if the index is even that means the element is present at odd position because it is zero based indexing so in that case uh, we will x take the xor of that element so here let me declare an answer which is equal to zero then uh, if the index is even then only we will take its xor in our result First, we will declare n for the size of the array. Then we check if n is even. Then we will return zero. Else, what we will do is we will XOR the elements present at odd positions. So for int i is equal to zero, i less than n, i plus plus try to run our code so yes it is working for the sample test cases now let's submit the code so yes it is working for all the test cases i hope you find this video helpful stay connected for more bit manipulation problems thank you